Hi, so today I want to talk about the pros and cons of iPhone camera versus DSLR or system camera. Let's talk about the iPhone first. I think the big, big, big pro of using the iPhone as your main camera is that it is so light. I mean, I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is actually fairly big, but still, it is super easy to carry around. I recently went on a trip. I took so many more photos than I would have done with lugging this camera around. So if you're, for example, a street photographer, um, travel photographer, then using the iPhone will be really handy for you. The second benefit of using the iPhone as your main camera is how easy it is to actually edit the photos right on the device. With the DSLR camera, you normally have the whole hassle of getting the photos from the camera to your computer, editing them there, then sending them back maybe to your phone to post them online or whatever. With the iPhone, you can do everything on one device because this is camera and storage device in one. It's just super handy. You take the photo, you edit it straight away. I use Photoshop Express, but you can use Lightroom on your phone or free editing apps like Snapseed or VSCO. Finally, once you've edited your photos on the iPhone, you can just post them straight away on social media or online forums or whatever you want. So it's just really, really convenient. Now, the third benefit of using the iPhone these days is that you can actually shoot RAW files on your iPhone. That never used to be the case with older models. Why do we want to use RAW files? It's because if you take your photography a bit more seriously and you want to edit your photos or perhaps print them later on, you always want to work with the most information available, which is the RAW file. Okay, that all sounds really positive, right? So you might wonder, why should I even bother ever buying such a heavy and expensive camera? In my opinion, there are two reasons why it's worth investing in a DSLR camera. Number one, with the iPhone, you just do not have the same creative freedom. Yes, you can change some settings. For example, in portrait mode, you can change the aperture and so on. But otherwise, you're very limited in terms of what you can actually change. Whereas with a DSLR camera, you can change whatever you want. Shutter speed, aperture, ISO. Plus, you can swap around the lenses. You can buy really expensive lenses, really professional grade ones, and you can swap them around for different effects. And my second reason why you should still invest in a DSLR camera is kind of tied in with reason number one, which is that you just learn how to actually be a better photographer. Yes, you can use the iPhone, which is really convenient and pre-programmed for you, and you usually get really beautiful photos because it's just a great tool. Whereas, using a DSLR, you actually have to understand what you're doing. You have to learn when to use a certain aperture or a certain shutter speed. And you learn so much more about photography that way. And once you understand all the theory, you can buy any camera you like and you can use it. For example, this is an old Nikon film camera and I have no problem using it because I understand the exposure triangle and all the theory of photography. Whereas if you just use the iPhone with its automated settings, you can't really transfer those skills onto using a different camera someday. It's kind of like making pancakes, right? You can buy a really nice, convenient pancake mix, throw it in the pan, and there's your pancake. But it will always be a bit generic and you can't really change the recipe all you want. Whereas, if you learn how to make pancakes from scratch, you understand what goes in the batter and you can change the batter and you can make all kinds of different pancakes. And it's just much more creative, right? So my verdict, if you undergo a lot and you just want to take a lot of pictures and you're really happy with a light piece of kit, the iPhone is absolutely number one. But if you want to learn more about photography and all the settings and actually hone your craft, then I wholeheartedly recommend you buy a DSLR camera, even an entry model, just so you can learn more about how the camera actually works. Hope you liked this video, give me a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you next time, bye!